What is going on guys? We are back here on Remnant from the Ashes. Now this is going to be my first video I believe that's going to be on my channel from Remnant of the Ashes. So let's just make this short and quick. I'm going to be doing multiple series and multiple episodes on certain things. I'm not going to focus too much on gameplay because of the fact that you can just constantly re-roll this game and have different outputs of gameplay. Of course that's going to be interesting but not every single part is going to be interesting so I'm going to do um, a couple of gameplay videos every now and then, but then mainly I'm going to be focusing on bosses, weapons, and mods. So, the first <laughs> thing that we're going to be going for and talking about is the Blink Token. Yes, oh my god, this mod is amazing, just astonishing. So, it teleports the caster forward up to 13 meters and creates an electrical blast that deals 350 shock damage within 3 meters. I believe that shock damage does increase depending on the strength of the weapon and you have to hold right bumper to um, select where you're uh, to select where you're going otherwise you can just instantly cl uh, click it and you'll teleport yourself 13 meters in front of you now this is pretty good because this is actually gives you an instant dodge uh, more or less and it's actually quicker um, than pressing B itself and it gives you a farther duration from where you're actually traveling um, Another thing from this mod is that because of the way I'm doing these videos and um, just how the way the game works, I don't actually <laughs> really remember what boss it is. But then on the video, you guys should be seeing the boss name and um, what the boss looks like, if not uh, just like what the boss looks like in general. And also I'm going to be giving some tips on how to defeat the boss if you guys ever encounter him um, during your playthrough. But very strong mod um, and very deadly. You can have plus five charges on it I haven't gone to the maximum yet but you can definitely have five charges and over so that is just a huge plus huge 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 plus um, it definitely helps the shock damage isn't exactly um, high and astonishing I would say you know it doesn't really do that much shock damage so it's not something you really should be trying to be using as a main attack um, this mod would probably be really good for melee builds and for relocating yourself as a sniper or a ranged, um, a ranged player especially if you do like your hunting rifles and definitely this mod is for you and if you guys want to go for a melee build this mod is definitely also for you because not only does it give you extra damage when you initially go near an enemy but then um, it also just saves you that amount of um, travel time that would take you to the enemy and the short space in between where you could potentially get damaged. Now for the boss itself, this boss is a little bit tricky and uh, I'm hoping I'm editing this video right so then you guys can see gameplay of me and my friend fighting the boss. Um, this boss was not fun, this boss likes to travel, okay? Main thing that you guys need to worry about is that on its first um, first wave, you know, I guess, the, um, you know, first phase, um, it's gonna summon these little dragon minion things, okay? He's gonna spawn about three to four of them. Essentially, when he spawns them, you have to take them out really fast. Because since this game is still in early access, the game craps out on frames very, very, very quickly. Because these minions take up a lot of frame rates. Uh, frame rates. Oh my god, frame rates. Um, whenever they're flying, right? Whenever they're flapping their wings, and it's just horrendous the amount of frames you're gonna be having. Um, and then once you take them out, essentially the boss is gonna be just teleporting constantly. Um, essentially whenever he teleports he does this little um, electric shock damage around him which is essentially the same thing as the blink token so basically whenever he teleports just constantly dodge you don't have to constantly dodge as I just said but if you see him teleport then just dodge because the boss tends to teleport near you or near your teammates at all times and during the second phase, he's going to be spawning not only on um, the little dragon minions, but he's also going to be spawning minions on um, themselves. It's not going to be any uh, crossbow minions, thank god, but they are going to be melee minions, and they do have spears, and they will totally wreck you if you are not careful. Now that will mainly be it for the video. I'm just going to show maybe a minute or a couple seconds of gameplay with the Blink mod on. Uh, sadly, I don't have that much gameplay just because I just literally recently got this mod. So, otherwise than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Ah, uh, you caught me with your teleport again. Oh, shit. Yeah, the game keeps fucking freezing, like, 
legit, there were three enemies in front of me and my game froze and I was freaking out. I was like, what's happening? Oh my god, I'm gonna get raped. Like, by the time my game unfreezes, I'm just gonna be there dying. Alright, this is definitely boss. I'm scared, dude. I am scared. You better be. The Ring of Trials. Oh my god.